I'm Karen Akonowitz from Fox and the Knife and Bar Volpe, and I am here to make Cacio e Pepe in five minutes wearing mittens. We don't have a lot of ingredients here. Cacio e Pepe is just pasta water cheese, pepper, a little bit of salt, and that's it. It doesn't typically have butter in it. I use goat butter, so it's a, a little bit of a different method, but I'm just gonna go with what I know. Never cooked in mittens before. They have been part of my attire all winter. I think the issue is not having, you know, fine dexterity. I know how much salt I'm putting in something because I can feel it in my fingers, and I, I'm worried that I'm really not gonna be able to tell, so I hope that this comes out perfectly seasoned. I really only have one digit that I can use. I've tightened them up though. So I really felt like that was key to my success here. It's like tight, tight getting them getting them on tight. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get this done for you guys in five minutes. Three, two, yeah. Two, one, start. Okay. I'm having quick fire flashbacks. Just got one thumb back here. I'm gonna try and get my pan heated up. I'm going to uh, okay. Really missing those, that fine dexterity right, <laughs> right about now, guys. That's okay. This is my, that was my eating cheese. That was just a test to see how, see how good the cheese is. Um, cacio e pepe is a really traditional Roman dish. Um, often made with bucatini. Wow. I am. I, <laughs> these are Faraday's snowboarding gloves that I am going to have to take home and wash for her as I'm grating them. I might have to, I actually might need to buy you a new pair um, as I am. I might be, my, <laughs> oh my God. might be micro painting your glove at the moment. We are gonna, we are gonna move forward with that. I'm gonna try this again, guys. Let's try this again. I don't think that, okay. All right, everybody. Well, this is good. It's gonna take me five minutes just to grate this cheese. All right, I'm gonna have to start with that. Then I'm gonna have to add it at the end. So I got peppercorns to, okay. Getting my workout in. Getting my, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with the You need a good amount of black pepper in this dish because when there's only like five ingredients in a dish, you need to make sure that every single one of them is really shining. You need to be able to taste every ingredient. Ketchup and pepe translates literally to cheese and pepper. But I also wanna make sure that I get this pepper ground small enough. You know what, Faraday? All right. You guys. Oh. So everything's going very well over here. I don't know. I don't uh, hear any laughing going on. Okay, friends. Got a little, oh good. Got a little bear paw. Bear paw of salt. Hope that's going well. I'm gonna go ahead and add my, I'm gonna add my pepper. <laughs> Let me get rid of the rest of that. Yep, this is bringing back some really fun memories here. Just like some competition television shows that I've done. Running out, running out the clock. All right, I've got my bucatini. I'm gonna max this.
So not from the peanut gallery over there. Can't rush perfection, kids. It's my bear paw. Let me get a wipe on that plate. In my hand, chef. Unexpected challenges for me was the grating of the glove. I mean, this is one of my favorite dishes to make. All I can say is that it was made with glove. And I think that was what, what really, you know, that, that was my biggest challenge. That and really not being able to like, know how much of anything I was grabbing. So I'm gonna try this and I cannot twirl my fork. I'm gonna use two hands. Um, and I, I hope that it's seasoned well. I'm a little worried about how much salt I put in it. Mm. Come on, this is awesome. I taste the pepper. It's really well seasoned. The cheese, the peppercorns. I would, I'd eat this any day of the week. All in all, I feel like it, it went pretty well. Tastes great. Two thumbs up. <laughs> to get this recipe for my Pepe Caccio that you don't have to make in five minutes or with gloves, click the link below. Going forward, this is how we're gonna train. We're gonna train everybody with snowboarding mittens, you know, when they take them off, then they will be really exceptional cooks. It's kind of like training at altitude. When you run and you run at altitude, and then when you come back down to sea level, your lungs are more awesome. This is gonna be how we train from now on.